The rhinestone effect is fairly simple in Easy Cut Studio. So I have text right here, and with it selected, I'm going to go up to the effects menu and go to rhinestones. Here you're able to choose the stone shape, stone size, and once you do, you can click on the preview here. Now, as you can see, we do have a nice outline of it. Now let's say you wanted to fill the shapes in. All you have to do is click this button here, click on the preview, and now you have the stones set in place. You also get to see a stone count based upon the stone size that you did select. To save the details here, you click on the OK button. Now one of the nice things that Easy Cut Studio does for you with this is if we were to increase the size here, it does not increase the stone size, it increases the stone quantity. So it still keeps those same rhinestone size when you do resize and reshape the uh, text here. Now likewise you can, uh, you can do this with shapes as well. Just go up to effects and same thing, rhinestone. And you can click on the preview and this simple shape here is just a circle with a star in the center. As you can see it is with the shape not filled in if that's the effect that you're going for. So this works with the fonts that you have installed on your computer, the shapes that you have uh, on your screen, and then something else it does work with is uh, open path fonts and you'll have to ch take a look at uh, that as well. Uh, open path fonts are basically single line fonts. That uh, makes it very nice uh, when you're working with rhinestones. So yeah, rhinestoning effect inside EasyCut Studio, very simple to use uh, and it does give you uh, a lot of great information when it comes to designing so you can prepare for the project.